So my mouth has just been attacked by pretty much dragon fire. It was the hottest takeaway known to man. So <laughs> I might be a bit raspy during this video. This is Toy Box Turbos, and it may remind you of a certain retro game, Micro Machines. And in some ways, it is a bit of a spiritual successor to that game. It is made by Codemasters, however. You make Dirt, Dirt 2, and some other racing games. And there is a variety of modes, you can have a look at single player, multiplayer, garrigs, options, achievements, which is nice to have Steam achievements, and I've got no friends, so I'm going to pick single player. Right, these are levels, in each level you've got a variety of uh, racetracks to compete in, with a variety of modes, and in those racetracks is a variety of vehicles you can pick from. So I'm going to pick from Time Sync as a time trial, which is a very bad one, and go for it. Right, so there's a variety of vehicles you can pick for, from. I'm going to go for the London cab for this thing, because I'm a cabbie at heart. It does remind you of micro machines that all the levels are from a top-down perspective, and it's things like kittens and... Uh, living rooms and stuff and all their hazards and obstacles and things to overcome are actual stuff like kitchen appliances mines which have just come out of nowhere I've got no idea where that mine came from didn't actually see it until I landed on it and stuff like tomato sauce spread across it is pretty creative and fun the amount of different hazards in this game as I was saying the different levels at the top screen uh, have different vehicles depending on the theme of each level so these have got public transport I think there's heavy utilities in one set of maps so there's a plenty of vehicles I think there's over 35 in which I read so there's plenty to keep it going uh, you unlock vehicles by moving over them coins these coins here and the more you get the more points you get to unlock different vehicles there's also a boss at the end of each section of levels uh, in this one it's a hovercraft and if you beat said hovercraft you get said ho hovercraft and that is pretty cool to go over water with relative ease and it is quite strong the hovercraft so I've just finished that at a time of 1.605 that was a pretty cool time it is still not for 3 stars though one that has a special star right let's see how far we go Let's go for off-road and let's go for something I haven't done yet. So there's a variety of different levels. These are themed across a school it seems. That one's an art class. That one's a chemistry laboratory. That's a science fair. And that's overall the Let's go for the science fair. That seems pretty cool. And this is an escape mode. There's a variety of different modes which is pretty cool. Right, there's a load of vehicles. I haven't got any of these vehicles yet, so I can't select any of them. That is a boss, by the way. That you can get the Sasquats from beating it from off-road rust, it seems, at level. So, I might go with the Moon Buggy. I might go with the Golf Cart. I might go with the Tractor. And I might go with the 4x4. Before, before. crowd, which one you want? Well, I'm not psychic, so I'm going to have to go with the Moon Buggy. I wish I was at times. If so, I would <laughs> be an absolute boss at lottery tickets. So let's go with the moon buggy, that looks pretty cool. Could have gone with the golf buggy. Uh, moon buggy, golf buggy. Uh, one you get like played hats and play golf all day and play around in sand pits. And one you blast off into space. I'm so blasting off into space would be pretty cool. And then escape, you have to dog sea flood. Dogs all the volcanoes from the science laboratory. And it's pretty cool. I like all the creative sets. There is got really nice special effects to this game. And for a couple of quid, which I picked up on special deal on Steam, it is very nice at that kind of and price. And very enticing at that price. Sorry, we're going to make that jump. Oh, you have to really think about that. Now, man, it's 930 centimetres. I won't say, say what that the size of, because you don't want to know. Right, let's move on. And let's go to the classic uh, Bunsen Burnout Racing. So I'm going to play as the Moon Buggy again. Sort of pick the Gold Buggy. I knew I sort of picked the Gold Buggy. I'd go for Gophers have more fun in the sand. 
I suppose the moon's all sandy though. It's not really sand though, isn't it? Everyone's a moon buggy. Different colour moon buggies. Collect them all. So yeah, if there's any Pokemon fans, <laughs> you can collect all your moon buggies. I'm sure that's a bit different to Pokemon. As you see, he's well, he or she has got a hammer. And I can pick up one there. And that's that's the uh, mine layer. So there's weapons in this game that you can pick up. And that's pretty cool. You can bounce around and trip up your opponents like that. What you just did to me. Oh, whoa, mine. Okay. This is very hard to actually commentate and actually dogs everything at the same time. People think we have it easy as YouTubers, but nah, it's very hard to dogs everything, play the game and talk about it at the same time. Alright, uh, let's move on and get the coins. And here we go with some EMP thing and an electric sock. Whoa, that was some out of, out of a Michael Bay film if it had a few more explosions. Uh, right, I've got a dog to see Bunsen burners. It is a bit like Honey I Sunk the Kids as well. Meets a uh, normal car racing game, meets wacky races. So that's the basic premise of the game if you haven't played Micro Machines before. And that was very rubbish. I am very rubbish at this game so far. I've actually been doing a lot better when I'm not filming. It's like a curse when you start to film. Uh, let's go back to school as well. We'll do one more and then we'll finish filming. And be happy folks, that is life lessons with games to find. Right, with years and years of toy box racing experience and of moon bugging. I'm sure that is a word. Uh, but let's continue. Mill, I'm reading the graffiti. Come on Mill, let's give me some racing experience here. Right, come on. And I'm sure somebody's got a combine harvester. That is a worthwhile song. Uh, okay, get him in with the to Tommy gun. Oh, I'm gonna mob your ass. Yeah! There we go. The most annoying yeah ever. Alright, and that guy's on fire. Quite literally. We draw already first until... Oh, now I'm on fire! Not literally, because I'm now behind. Uh, right, come on, we can do this. Alright, channeling years and years of racing experience in, under my belt. The F1 racers all come to me for advice. <laughs> uh, let's move on and let's see if we can do this. Alright, I'm going to lay some mines for this tractor in front of me. Here we go. And let's see if we can beat this cube. The cubes aren't this fast in real life. Oh, well, off road. I suppose it is kind of off road. I don't know what this kind of is. I don't know what, how to classify a desk because you don't normally drive over a desk. And it's clear that I need driving lessons. If you ever saw me on the early days of Games to Find where I played Euro Truck Simulator, uh, you can see my experience at driving. I do not have years and years of experience on driving. And yeah, boy, I've got first. Beat that. That was the most proudest achievement of my life.